And welcome back everyone, I am the Zember89 and let's play some more Broken Sword 5, Serpent's Curse. God, it's early here, it's 5am. Dedication. Right, so we have to um, find out that, f find that Hobbs dude. Hobbs dude, yes. Uh, Mr. Hobbs person, are you home? Do you have some money? I want some money. Walk faster. Knock, knock, knock. Hello? I don't think there's anyone home. I don't believe that. There's a light on upstairs. Yeah. He's not answering, folks. Hmm, what can we do? We need to draw his attention. Get in the dumpster! Yes. Good idea. Maybe there's something in the dumpster. The large dumpster was full of garbage. Th thank you. That was pretty obvious. That's a lot of junk. Piles of junk. Mostly boxes of old paints and scraps of picture frames. Mixed in were wires, cardboard, and some dubious looking old clothes. Take them. Take them now. Oh, someone's calling us. What the hell? George Stobart. Hello. Ah, Monsieur Stobart. I trust you have obeyed my instructions not to leave Paris. Yeah? Of course, Inspector. Good. You clearly know which side your cookie is buttered. Uh. Now, I require your presence tomorrow at the murder scene for a reconstruction. I see. Twelve o'clock sharp, monsieur. Or, as you would say, high noon. No one says that. Uh, sure. Any failure to comply and I shall have you extraordinarily rendered. Have a nice day now. Exterminate. And you. Yeah, and you. Great, we have trouble with the police now. That was Nave. We're required back at the gallery tomorrow for a crime scene reconstruction. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me guess. Non-attendance is a criminal offense? Of course. You got it. You got it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get in the creepy van. The door was locked. Of course it was. Looking through the window, I could see that there was nothing in the van. Hobbs must have taken the portfolio inside. What about the other door? Van cab. He just leaves it unlocked? Seriously? Ooh. That's a, that's a nice car. Oh my god. <laughs> I decided to leave the handbrake alone. I think we're gonna use it later. Oh, booze! Nice. Slasha. Finally! Whiskey. Whew. Very strong stuff. Very strong stuff. I popped open the van's hood. That's what he said. Um. Not a sound. The horn wasn't working. So the horn doesn't work. I think this would kind of grab his attention, but it's not working. Great. The van's hood was already open. Can you look at it or something? Can we play some music? No. What else is there? The van. Van's hood was already open. Can we? I don't know. Poor, poor booze in it. That's how cars work, right? That wouldn't have worked. Hmm. The van's hood. No. Oh, the van's hood. I'm an idiot. Van, bonnet. Put that bonnet on or something. I don't. I don't know. The cars. engine was held together by rust and dirt. That's perfect. Everything was covered in a sticky film of dirty black oil. Mm. Half the wiring wasn't connected to anything. It was clear why the horn hadn't made a noise. Neither horn pipe was connected to either the battery or the cab. That might be the issue. It was the van's engine. Okay. Ah, do we have to fix the fucking horn? I don't know how these work. It was uh, the van's engine. Van's it engine. It was the van battery. I needed to hook this up to the horn somehow. Okay. A bundle of short, severed wires was connected to the battery. None of the wires were connected to anything. 
Well, connect them to something, George. It was one of two horns in the van. I guess it didn't I seem need to be one. connected to anything else under the hood. Two wires hung loose from it. I see. Loose wire. A loose wire hung. A loose wire hung from the horn. If I had some spare cable, I could connect it to the other horn. We don't have a spare cable. That's the issue. Her. The other It was horn. one of two horns in the van. Do we need both? It didn't both? seem to be connected. Do we need both horns, I wonder? A bundle of wires came into the engine bay from the dashboard. Many of the wires seemed to lead nowhere. Nowhere, nowhere. Okay. We need some wires. Can I use the paper clip, I wonder? The engine bay. Yep, it was it's, clear why the horn. It's Neither pretty much a stop talk to da da. Stop talking. Uh, can I lose this? A it's a good idea. What are you talking about, George? That wouldn't work. You wouldn't work. Come on, let's find some wire. There must be some wire in here. Yeah, I th yeah, just gotta be. Just a lot of junk. I had found just what I needed. Genius. Two lengths of wire. Better than ever. Ooh. Actually, is there anything in this letterbox? Can we steal his mail? After that, I think I'll talk to Nico because she's a girl and boobs. It was Hobbs's mailbox. There was a note hanging out. Oh. Uh. For a second, I debated the morality of mail snooping. It was a short debate, and I won. I approve. We need it for for science. Open it. I decided to open the letter. Do it. Dear Mr. Hobbs, due to previous incidents, we are writing to inform you that we will no longer be sending models to your address. It went on to discuss Hobbs' temper and other alleged infractions, some of which still carry the death sentence in certain less sophisticated cultures. Interesting. Oh, so he was kind of uh, mean to the ladies. That's pretty bad, sir, Mr. Hobbs. Ooh, that drain pipe. Climbing drain pipes was something I preferred to avoid. Yeah, I, unless I understand. I had a great reason to do so. Well, given your previous experience with climbing drain pipes, they don't really last that long. Oh, do we need the chain? Oh, there's so much stuff. I want to pick up everything. I wouldn't have been able to break the chain. Or the padlock. What about taking it? Nico, come talk to me. Nico? Nico. Nico, get over here. What's up? What's up? The lights are on, but nobody's answering. Maybe they can't hear you knocking. We could try some other way of attracting their attention. Oh, you don't say. Useless. Fine, we have some wire now. Go to the bonnet. I hope that's how you say it. Bonnet? Bonnet? Bnut? I don't know. So, wires. Where do I put them? Battery. No? Okay. That was almost <clears throat> a great idea. Almost. Why almost? Er, I don't know what I'm doing. I used the wire to join the battery to the horn. Okay. That's a pretty long wire. <laughs> uh... Does it work now? Don't I have to connect it to the wiring loom? A bundle of wires. Ah, I see. I think I need another wire and I have an idea how to do this. I snipped the wire in half. Yes! Because I still need to connect it to the wire wiring loom. That wire wasn't long enough to reach between the two horns. Well, maybe this one is long enough. Long wire. Use the short wire? The wire was just long enough to connect the battery to the horn. Thank God. And this one should be enough as well. There was already a wire. No, not there. Here. I connected the wires from the cab to the horn. Perfect. Everything was wired up. The horn had power. The horn had power. Power! And... Horn time! 
I figured that should get Hobbs' attention. Hopefully. All right, hold your blooming horses. What are you up to with my van? What do you Hello want? Hello there. Uh, we fixed your horn. You're welcome. So I hear. Now what are you doing in my yard? Stuff. We're fixing things. Aren't you happy? Sorry to bother you again, Mr. Hobbs, but... What? Well, that could have gone better. That was so He's nice. He's not exactly the friendliest of characters. What a bastard. Come back. I'm going to honk that horn until you come out, sir. That sounded wrong. That sounded so wrong. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I decided to give it another blast. Give it another blast. For crying out loud, will you leave my van alone? Nine. Sorry, uh, just need a quick word, Mr. Hobbs. You will let me in. Mr. Hobbs, do you mind if we ask you a few questions? Don't you dare go back yes. inside. Yes, you will answer a few questions? Yes, I do mind. Clear? No. Not really. Good, now get lost. Aw, oh, don't go back inside. Fucking... Fine. This Hobbs guy doesn't exactly like visitors. No. There must be some angle we can use to talk our way inside. Uh, let's try that again. More honky, honky time. Mr. Hobbs, I swear to God. I decided to give it another blast. I'm going to do this all day until you come out. You two again? What is it this time? Would you like to restore some paintings, please? Hello there. We'd like to discuss some restoration work with you. Then make an appointment. I'm busy. No fucking way. This is crazy. We need to get in there and take a look around. We need that. I wish I had my gun with me. I'd already... Okay. What do we use to incriminate him? Whiskey. No. Modeling agency? This one? The letter mentioned a guy called... Madovsky. It's either th this or... The completion... No. It's either this or the modeling agency thingy. I decided to give it another... Honk. Honk, 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 honk. What now? I can do this all day, buddy. Afternoon, Mr. Hobbs. We're from the model agency. About blooming time. I'm on a deadline. You better come up. Oh. He probably thinks Ni Nico Nico's the model. <clears throat> What a wonderful place. Just perfect. About time you two showed up. Hello, Mr. Hobbs. I was just wondering if... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, can <clears throat> it, Goldilocks? I don't have time for chit-chat. You will. Just get undressed behind that screen. Undressed? Is he talking to George? That was the deal. An extra 20 quid because I need you with your kit off. Oh. The studio was freezing. <laughs> and as for you, darling, no need to get undressed. I've got a vivid imagination, so I'll just use that. Either way, just go sit over there on that rug and give me your best belly pock floozy. So, um... This is gonna be interesting. That's perfect. Just hold it there. Hold Nico it made there. for a good distraction. I just needed to figure out how to get a look inside that portfolio. But George needs to get naked. <laughs> oh, put that... I didn't want to play around with no, the negligee. No, you have to put that Those on. Those days are long gone. But I wondered who it did belong to. You kind of want to put it on, right, George? Come on, you you want that negligee. I didn't want to... Yes. Those days... But I want... So disappointed. Come on, go change. Go get naked. My, my! <laughs> if it isn't George Stobart! Oh, no. Lady... Piermont. <gasps> oh my! You're what? naked, <laughs> of course. <laughs> As an artist's muse, one often finds oneself en belotas. Now, George, don't be shy. Come here and give me a big hug. 
I was not expecting that, that folks. That day was the day the nightmares had begun. <laughs> Trapped, smothered, <laughs> choking on lavender. Uh, George, darling, pass me my robe. It's terribly cold in here. I can't believe Lady Piermont is here. <laughs> that is amazing. Two thumbs way up Oi, for developers. What are you doing with a blooming robe on? Wow. God help me, but you're supposed to be naked. I've got a deadline to meet. Well, you won't be meeting any deadlines with manners like that. And besides, it's freezing in here. Well, he's uh, apparently taking the cold Lady pretty Piermont well. and I had met before. She was larger than life. In every way. In every way, indeed. How... what... What are you doing here, Lady Piermont, in an, uh, an abandoned sort of warehouse? Lady Piermont. Have you started taking drugs? Oh, George, be a darling and sort the heating out in here. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. George, the fixer of everything, is on the job. So how are we going to get a peek inside that folder? Perhaps your lady friend over there could help. Lady Piermont? Well, she has many, uh, assets. She does. But subtlety isn't one of them. Who said anything about subtlety? We need to distract Hobbs. And she's certainly distracting. No, excuse me, but you're casting a shadow. Sorry. Yeah, well, Lady Piermont does have her big assets. Can I look at... can I look at this? Hi, what do you think you're doing? Don't look. Just look at the ladies. Oh, sorry. I, I was just going to take a look at some of your pictures. You're very good. Very good. I know. And that portfolio is private. But why? I'm not paying you to gawp around my studio. Get your blooming clothes off. Sorry. That That's not how I imagined our first date to be. Get your fucking clothes off. Seriously, let, let me get drunk first. A variety oh. of liquor bottles, all empty. Oh, we can tamper with his glass. What can we put in the glass? More whiskey? How about a top-up, Mr. Hobbs? Well, don't mind if I do. Do we have to get him drunk, I wonder? Don't mind if I do. Do you want a co cockroach? Uh, Putting added? anything other than good whiskey in a man's glass would be a pretty low thing to do. Which is what we do. Ah, oh, that, that's totally what we do, George. I wish I had some absinthe or something. I didn't need to sit. It was time for action. Time for action. I wasn't going to mess around with that wiring. You should. That's what we have to do, right? God damn it, George. I wasn't going to... I wasn't going to mess around with that thing. Rumble, rumble. Hey! Oi! Leave that dial alone. It's cold. Sorry, but Lady Piermont is cold. I thought... Look, pal, I know it's brass monkeys in here, but the wiring in this building is ancient, and the fuse box won't take it. Her Majesty will just have to get used to chapel hat pegs. Bastard. Lady Piermont, Mr. Hobbs won't let me turn up the heating. Well, we'll soon see about that. Use your asset. Oh, crumbs. If you do not adjust the heating, I shall refuse to cooperate. Lady Piermont, it's the circuits. They won't take the strain. You know what old buildings are like. In which case, I see no reason for this session to continue. You tell him. Whoa, Lady Piermont, let's not be too hasty. Whoa. I'm sure I can accommodate your needs. Good. Perhaps you can start by letting George here turn up the heating. Oh, oh go ahead then, but be careful. The power in here is uh, temperamental. Turn it up to the max. I'd turned the thermostat up as far as it'd go. Perfect. <laughs> I wondered if the suspicious wiring could be used to my advantage. Water of life. 
Indeed it is. May oh, he's getting drunk. I knew it! I knew we had a to get another person drunk in a Broken Sword game. I wasn't gonna mess around with that wiring. Should we get you even more drunk? Come on. It helps with uh, the drawing. It's totally. How about another whiskey? Yeah, go on. Go on. Ah, smashing. Pour away. Pour away. It's delicious. Mmm. Liquid. Give me that liquid that makes the sadness go away. Mmm. Now can we sneak a peek? At the portfolio, I mean? No! I told you! Damn it. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Well, next time, guys, we're gonna get him even more drunk. Yay. Thanks for watching.